October 25th, 1997. Points, drama, and emotion in Stillwater, Oklahoma. Let's start with the points. 12th ranked Oklahoma State scored first. Corby Jones and Mizzou scored the next 30. Jones rolls out, looks for somebody, has a man wide open, and we're going to be tied up. Jones has a man wide open. It is Torrey Coleman, touchdown Missouri. What was working was our Doug McCorders were playing man-to-man -man on Kent, and we were just beating the heck out of him. Jones, the pump fake, looking for Kent Lehman. Pass is complete into the end zone, oh. touchdown. Wow. What a throw by Corby Jones. They had to put eight in the box to stop the run. So Kent got loose, and I get him the ball as a wrap. And Missouri takes advantage of the opportunity fully. They go right for the jugular. Second down in just a couple of inches. Jones on the keeper. Breaks over the right side. He's got Painter. Touchdown. But the Cowboys galloped all the way back, scoring 30 consecutive points of their own. The last touchdown putting the Cowboys up 37 to 30 with less than a minute and a half to play and Missouri 80 yards away from a game-tying touchdown. And that's where the drama came in. I looked at everybody in our huddle and I said, anybody who doesn't think we can win this game, get out of my huddle. Missouri will face fourth and 12, comes down to one play. They are alive, 60 seconds left. Second and 10, ball on the 36. Jones, over the middle. Pass is complete to the 40, down to the 38-yard line. I knew we had man-to-man -man out there with Rick and, uh, and McWhorters was on him this time. Second and 10, 26 seconds left to play. And I, I, I thought we could take a shot. Going for Pater, over McWhorters, intended for Ricky Ross. Oh, 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 touchdown Missouri! Unbelievable! And it worked out. You can't throw a better ball than he did. From where he was, the ball would have come down out of bounds. When he caught the ball, he caught the ball over the shoulder that he that he should have caught it over, caught it with his right hand, and his left foot was the one who came down in bounds. Miraculously, we had overtime in Stillwater. The Tigers and Cowboys were just getting going. Can he get to the outside? He does. He's looking at six. They punched us in the mouth. They put us on our heels. It's time to dig in and fight back. Now Missouri knocking on the door. Blackwell, James, and Olivo in the backfield. Is it a touchdown? Yes, it is, Missouri. I don't care how long we have to play. We're not going to lose this game. Jones will run the action. He's got room to the 10, to the 5, to touchdown. Man, unbelievable. Lindsey. He's got it. Goes in. No, they're going to say he was short. The official has fallen down. Not touchdown. Down 51 to 50 in the second overtime, Oklahoma State coach Bob Simmons made a curious decision. And look at this, they're going for two. Oklahoma State's going for the pair. They go to the funky formation again. Cat coverage, that cat go cover that cat and just make sure everybody's got covered, right? If you can see, I, I was jumping around in the middle because I knew that it was gonna try to either run up through the middle or throw it outside because it was picking on Posey all game, you know, with the tall tight end. I think both sides were confused just enough that uh, we had a we had a playmaker make a play. Lindsey steps up. Oh, he's not going to do it, and Missouri will win the football game. Have you ever been involved in a more emotional game than this? <laughs> uh, not that I can remember it now. I think Barry Mazook threw his helmet up in the air after the game was over and actually hit Mo Ainkney, our defense coordinator, in the head. I look over, Mo was down on the ground, like out. He was happy, but he was knocked out happy. I remember on the uh, plane ride home, just being just completely wiped out. It let us know that we do have the potential to compete with anybody in the country.